Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. Schools in this province are falling apart. Over the past five years alone, this government has underfunded school repairs by $5.8 billion. Add that to the previous repair backlog, and we now have a shortfall of $15 billion. That's billion, Speaker. Kids are being forced to wear winter coats inside because classrooms are 12 degrees. Roofs are collapsing, and children are being injured by broken infrastructure. While this government starves school boards of the resources they need to address these issues, students and families are being left behind. My question is simple. With a budget on the horizon, Ontario families want to know, will this government stop cuts to the classroom and commit to fixing the disrepair in our schools? Thank you. Minister of Education. Yes, thank you. And uh, I, I'm pleased to report that, in fact, we have continued to increase education funding. If you look at the amount of funding that was received in 2003 and compare it today, yeah. it's up $8.1 billion. Wow. That's 56 percent at a time when the number of students have decreased. So, billion with a B. So the number, so the amount per pupil has gone up. The absolute amount has gone up. The amount of funding for school renewal has gone up. The amount of school for school renovations has gone up. The amount of money for school repairs has gone up. Everything is going up. And, there, they, and while there do continue to be schools that are not in uh, great shape, we have actually fixed the funding model. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. That just shows how out of touch the minister is because the needs of the students have increased, the cost of electricity has increased, and the cost of transportation has increased. Therefore, the budgets are not sufficient. Again to the Minister, Ontario boasts highly qualified education and child care workers, bright students and parents who want what's best for their children. This morning, organizations like Fix Our Schools, the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario and the Ontario Coalition for Better Child Care held a press conference at Queen's Park to demand answers. Directors of education, trustees and students also attended. The Minister of Ed Education needs to put our students first. Kids are paying the price for her misplaced priorities. This government must recognize that it's unacceptable that kids are wearing winter coats in classrooms. Will this government repair our schools and finally provide a safe and equal opportunity education for all Ontario students? 